Hello and welcome back to another installment of Thursday Throwdown, the show where we pit two Golden Age sets against each other and you vote for the figures on our teams. This week, Calder, that's me, am building out of Iron Maiden and Simeon is building out of the Kick-Ass 2 set. Simeon, tell us about your team. Oh boy, well let me just start with Mr. Genghis Carnage. I know, I know you all thought I was going to be like, you know, Sun Tzu couldn't defeat me, I'm Genghis Carnage. Con, but it's a uh, carnage because everything's punny in Kick Ass 2. Um, I don't even know if Sun Tzu was even close to Genghis Khan and when they lived. Uh, let's just completely ignore the dial, it's garbage, it's 45 points. He gets some flurry and blades, exploit. Uh, he's always doing at least two exploit or blades, so for 45 points, he's solid. Um, let's go with Yaris Driver. What a weird... I don't like admitting what I drive. Not because I'm embarrassed by it, but I'm just not like one of those brand people. But to make your yeah. HC Realms username Yaris Driver, man. What a strange world HC Realms was in 2013. Uh, poor Yaris Driver here says, Yeah, I bought four packs, and out of three of them was this schmuck. Decent offensive powers but three of him sucks. Uh, another guy says, this is Corp. A friend and I just bought one pack each. We both got him. Uh, Dang. I wrestled a bear Mark. once, says, went through 21 packs of a brick, no chase, but four of this guy. One of my friends bought the last three and got the chase. You always buy the whole pack, man. That's just proof right there. Yeah, why, thing, would you, why would you stop at 21? Yeah. Yeah, Anyways. never, if you're, like, pulling, I, I guess if you, like, buy that many and you leave and you just don't have the chance to get the rest, but if you're already buying 21, the last three are nothing. Um, I've gotten so much good luck from, like, the last couple boosters or whatever that's, like, leftovers. Uh, anyhow, he continues, good thing I didn't care about the Fear Itself Wolverine I traded. No, in. yeah, dude. I mean, I mean, that is a pretty bad Wolverine. Uh, just it too is. bad I couldn't trade him my extras of GC, which I'm guessing it is short for Genghis Carnage. And then, uh, mm. yeah. So, moving on. 45 points for that guy. Pretty solid. He's got the bad guys keyword and the martial <laughs> artist keyword. Next up is Madarasha. So, she's got an eye patch. Pretty cool looking lady. Uh, Genghis mm -hmm. Carnage here is just, uh, I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. Um, Mother Russia's way Wasting more interesting. A lot of time on For 75 points, Mother Russia's way more interesting. She's got the bring it on trait. When Mother Russia successfully hits a piloted vehicle with a ranged combat attack, deal one unavoidable damage to the pilot, and the pilot is ejected. Pretty fun. I actually wouldn't, like, if that I knew cool. I was playing in, like, some sort of format where you had to play a vehicle... I would totally put this lady in with my team. Um, in 99% of the games I play, this would never come up, so kind of a wasted trait. Calder, are you playing any vehicles on your team? Uh, I do not. There are no vehicles in the Iron Maiden set, uh, sadly. So no ejecting possible for this team. Cool. <laughs> kind of what I figured would happen. Uh, she's got time to stretch my legs for her first two clicks. Mother Russia can use duo attack ability. But when she does, she may only make ranged combat attacks. So I can't combo that with running shot. But she does have six range, so got that for her first two clicks. And then special damage power for clicks two through four called Little Girl. Mother Russia ignores damage dealt by Blades, Claws, Fangs unless the result of the D6 roll is a five to six, which is the only result I would want to ignore. But I guess it's something. So if it's a four, I just don't take any damage. Kind of decent for 75 points. Um, solid stats. And then, of course, she gets close combat expert late down, which actually combos Ooh, with charge now. And so, charge. Yeah, pretty solid. Next up is, I mean, how could, how could you forget this guy's name? It's uh, Battle Guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The star and the shield. Battle Guy. Um, battle guy yeah who else could it be so he's got he's 75 points zero range 
He's got that kid can move, battle guy can use flurry and leap climb. Now those technically combo now, but in no way that matters. So I can't leap climb then flurry, but while flurrying, I do have improved movement, so that's cool. Um, that is neat. First, first two clicks and his last two clicks. He also has let me join. Battle guy can use shape change. Adjacent friendly characters can use close combat expert, which is pretty cool. Uh, not gonna lie, that's actually really solid. And then uh, last but not least, oh no, there is one more. Uh, second to last is. Uh, oh wait, I forgot. I forgot. Uh, Mother Russia has a comment here. Um, where was it? Oh yeah, yeah. Super strength for just light objects would have made more sense for the movie version. I never saw this movie, so I don't know what that reference is. Was she not able to lift like a fridge? She. Oh, she rips off like a car door. But she she murders the person inside the car, so like I mean that car power is accurate. Oh, okay. The eject. But I don't know. She she is, she is strong. Um, yeah, multiple she times is in this set, I see a like multiple figures had David Kane just found a new pupil. I looked up David Kane. That's like the real name for Deadshot, who has only been clicked under the name David Kane once in all of Hero Clicks, and I couldn't see anything. Like he gives. When he has a pupil, he can like perplex, enhance, and leadership that person. And it seems like such a stretch to be like, yeah, this is perfect for that guy. But multiple times, it might have been this same commenter was like, yeah, this is a perfect person for David Kane. Um, yeah. And then, and then, of course, Battle Guy's comments. Let's see here. Oh, uh, wow. Now that's a dangerous little piece. Yeah. I need to get my hands on one of these. Dear WizKids, please reuse Dial as part of a future Captain America. Thanks. I think that was Calder. It never did. Calder in his darker days did. when he went under uh, the No, that is not me. It is not me. <laughs> All right. We'll get into Colonel Stars and Stripes. And, of course, he's got uh, Eisenhower, who I completely forgot to add to my team build here. So we'll look at that one as well. Uh, Colonel Stars and Stripes starts with Eisenhower. Attached at no cost. When Eisenhower is attached, Colonel Stars and Stripes can use the duo attack ability. Give Colonel Stars and Stripes a power action and place Eisenhower in an adjacent square. When you do, Eisenhower can't be given a non-free action this turn. If Eisenhower is attached, when Colonel Stars and Stripes is KO'd, place Eisenhower in a square Colonel Stars and Stripes occupied. So unlike most generated bystanders, he actually comes out when the character's KO'd. And mm -hmm. he's got Blades, Super Senses, and Sikkim. When a friendly character named Colonel Stars and Stripes is within four squares, Eisenhower may be given a move action as a free action. So you can pop him out and move him in one go. Just can't Blades or anything. And then he's got... For his first three clicks, Respect the Mask, Colonel's, Colonel Stars and Stripes can use Leadership and Shape Change. Pretty solid little combo. Um, not going to lie. I like Leadership. I like Shape Change. And then last but not least is Chris D'Amico, the mother at pound sign, dollar sign, uh, asterisk, ER. I don't know. I never saw the movie, yes. so I'm guessing that's some sort of hacker code that he uses in the movie. Pretty cool, though. Uh, he's got improved movement hindering terrain, which is just how everybody works now. So, great! Uh, he's got a trait. I can just pay someone to fight my battles. Chris D'Amico can use Mastermind. When he does, you may give him a power action, or an action token, I guess, not a power action. And he can transfer damage to a friendly character, to friendly characters, regardless of their point value. So not regret regardless of adjacency, but since he is 100 points and he does not share any keywords with Colonel Stars and Stripes, he'll be able to mastermind with current rules to anyone on the team that's adjacent. So this power will not work. Well, it'll work it for Colonel, Colonel Stars and Stripes only, it, I guess. For Colonel Stars and Stripes, yeah. Yeah. And uh, no All right. comments because no nice. one likes this Ooh, guy. So sad. So sad. Uh, starting off, I guess we're going to start with the final guy, the final frontier, nah, nah, space. 
Uh, these guys are all weird. He's kind of skinny, kind of gangly. He's like an alien guy, I guess. I thought he was going to be like a cool ray gun guy, but that's the future dude, whatever. Um, so the final frontier, what's he look like? He's got some charged blades, some four range. A good thing about this set is that they get they do get better since none of them have indom except for like power slave. So that's nice. He has special attack power for the last uh, six clicks of his dial, uh, which is when he's given a close combat or ranged combat action, heal uh, Final Frontier of the damage taken. So whatever damage I imagine ideal to you, I get to heal that much on me. He's got a lot of threes and twos there, but it's still cool. And then on his last four clicks, he's got Talisman Fork. Uh, Final Frontier attacks a character with one or more action tokens that isn't on their first click. Uh, the Final Frontier deals penetrating damage, so really gets that stuff through. He's got some weird charge to running shot to phasing to hypersonic, but it's neat. It's yeah, pretty cool. That's so solid that's the, the final front here. Hypersonic for sure. Hypersonic full oh, yeah. range and penetrating uh, Next damage. up, we have the Trooper. My man, uh, running shot, energy explosion, a little, uh, little British uh, red coat action going on here. He's got a special damage power to tame a land. It is in his weird middle three clicks. Once per game, when the trooper has one action token and occupies an opponent's starting area, give the trooper a power action, place up to 150 points of opposing characters into any one starting area. Would have been cool if he could do like a combat attack for free after that, you know, if he's going to do this whole trek across the battlefield. Uh, and then he's got Dead Eddie on his last two clicks, which is Regeneration and Toughness. When he uses it, he heals minimum of one, so it's just normal regen and toughness, basically. Uh, but move and attack the whole dial. Running shot, first four, charge last three. Not terrible, the trooper. Uh, next up, Phantom of the Opera. Some copyright infringement going on here. Mm. Um, looks nothing like the Phantom of the Opera, by the way. Not wearing, like, the suit. Cape, messed up face. Pretty sure the mask is different. Uh, Holding something. Uh, it does have the cape and the messed up face. Yeah. But uh, I, don't know. I don't know. I guess the basics are there. <laughs> the basics are there. We'll go with it. Fine. Um, a voice that can shatter glass. Phantom of the Opera can use Pulse Wave. When he does, after actions resolve, each hit character, 75 points or less, is given an action token. Really solid. Uh, number four being his best click when he has running shot with that power. Otherwise, he just sort of has stealth. He also has the Dead Eddie special defense, which is the regen and toughness on his last two clicks. And then on his like second through fourth click, he has a face that can shatter minds. Phantom of the Opera can use Outwit, but may only target opposing characters within five squares. A character that has a power countered by this use of Outwit can't be given a non-free action if it has one action token. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it's yeah. really good. It's an interesting Next up uh, is right uh live after death live after death little, little uh click on the image there you go a little dude popping out of the ground was busting some chains off got some lightning going on pretty neat sculpt a little weird but it's i mean they're all a little weird but yeah neat neat enough uh charge close combat piece dial almost full poison um after his you know First click. Uh, trait revelations. Once per game, when live after death would be KO'd, instead turn the dial to click number six. Remove all action tokens from him and deal one damage to all adjacent characters. That's pretty cool. Uh, Dang, comes back yeah. not on his last click, which is nice. Yeah. And then this guy also has Dead Eddie on those last three clicks, which is regen and toughness. So there's quite uh, quite the sticking around power with all the live live after death, whatever. However they wanted me to say it. I don't know. But yeah, uh, the map we're going to be playing on is the uh, Justice Forever um, headquarters, I believe. So yeah. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Of course. Uh, I won map. I got to go first. I have a plus three Iron Maiden theme team. Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah. It's so weird that that's a scared name. my iron maiden theme team. named, named keyword. keyword iron maiden <laughs> i baby. do not have a named or yeah. named keyword i have no uh keywords that match everyone so i don't have uh theme team probs at all i just don't have prob on this team at all so we'll see how that works for me all right we're gonna go ahead and move out phantom of the opera right there Let's get uh, 
Let's get old Trooper right there. This is a 400 point game, guys. So we will have four actions. I do not have any leadership on my team. Simeon actually has. Do you have two people with leadership? Is that right? Yeah. Or is so, it just the one? Because Miko doesn't uh, have. Colonel Stars and Stripes has leadership, and Chris D'Amico. Uh, Mother Chris D'Amico. No, he doesn't. Uh, nice. It is. Is it Mother Russia? Maybe it is only Colonel Stars and Stripes. So, yeah. He for sure has it, but I guess I. No, I don't think anyone else does. Uh, all right, Simeon, it is your yo. All right. So let's. We've got five actions, so we'll use all of them. Uh, seven speed for Genghis Carnage, nine speed for Mother Russia. Let's see where she can get first. We'll go. We'll be sneaky, sneaky. And get Mother Russia to here. Um, I think Colonel Stars and Stripes has leadership shape change. I think I'm going to want to post him up near the same door because, I mean, leadership reasons. So he is going to also move down here. We'll go ahead and put him one back. Um... Chris D'Amico. He has stealth and outwit top dial with seven speed. Let's see where he can get. So my only real stealth option is like this patch or this patch. So I'm going to leave him in this first section here just in case Calder surprises Go there. Me. No, no, no. That's okay. not stealth. Okay. Um, then we've just got yes, it is Genghis Carnage and Battle Guy. Battle Guy, of course, can use Leap Climb. I, I like the names. Great names. It's a little long, but it's. Uh... I, I could have named all of my guys. Yeah, it's a little long. I guess I could have named all of my characters a song I've never listened to before, but it seems a bit too on the nose. all four of them uh yeah. yeah all four of them album i've never listened to song i've never listened to so in the new rules everyone ignores hindering for movement now so i am able to move everybody Correct. down here with relative ease um i think going forward oh i just realized for some reason i thought these were doors that's elevation but uh that's fine elevation's good uh it's not like Calder has any change. But going forward, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there will be. Ah, well, you are pretty far from the range, guys. Yeah. Who do I have? Live after death, live after death. I'm going to call him death in final. Final, I guess, has four range. It's got none. They both have charge. So, yeah, the trooper's the only one that has running shot top dial with a six range. So the trooper is going to be looking like one, two, three, four. Can direct diagonals here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't even know. I don't even know if I want to do that. I think what we're going to do is we're going to clear the whole maidens. All Every single maiden is, is getting cleared. I could have named them the Steel Maiden, every Copper Maiden, maiden <laughs> Platinum Maiden. Yeah, you just name them after how you rank them. Technically, yeah. Yeah, how I rank them. Trooper, I might actually buy after this. He's got a cool sculpt. Probably go get myself a trooper t shirt as well. Yeah. Since I hear those are all the rage. Yeah. <laughs> they, I mean, you definitely see them at certain places, that's for sure. Um, for whatever that's oh, yeah. worth. Uh, 
let's see. First thing, like first. hot topic and tattoo parlors. <laughs> I would say like generic hot or generic uh, tattoo parlor in like the '90s for sure. Um, I'm sure that like they made it into like movie scenes and there's like a biker bar or something. Somebody was definitely rocking. Oh yeah, a biker Iron bar. Yeah. Um. All right. The, by all means, continue with your team. Let's your uh, turn. roll leadership with Jim Carrey here. A four. Uh, not smoking currently. Um, that's a mask reference, which is a different movie. Uh, let's go. I think Mother Russia can get a decent line on Final Frontier. What's Final Frontier rocking for defense right now? Final Frontier's got a 17 in vulnerability. Okay. Mother Russia's not pumping out a ton of damage. And sadly, I can't use my duo attack with running shot. Um, Calder doesn't have any pilots or vehicles, so there's no ejection that'll be happening. So let's start with Chris D'Amico. He's going to move down to here. And he will outwit the invulnerability on Final Frontier. And then Mother mm. Russia will run. Shot. You can do that. That is allowed. One, two, three, and four. Seven speed. No, she's got nine okay. speed, so she could actually go a little bit further. But uh, she has a ten attack for three damage. Attack power does not matter. So that will be a nine. Hmm. Let's have live after death theme prob that. Okay. Oh, he does not even get a token. What am I doing? Yeah, Ridiculous. Yeah. What are you talking about? Tokens? Stupid. Idiot. What is this? That's S one of that's, what is this literal months ago before yeah. the rules change? Uh it's one of my three theme probs. Not gonna theme prob it again. We'll have final fronts here. Take the three damage and go to click four. All right. Uh, Colonel Stars and Stripes also has running shot. I could try and do something similar with him. Although he can only go one, two, three, four. So he's got seven speed. And it looks like Mother Rush is going to block most of my line of fire. One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. I could shoot af live after death, live after death. Um, I could shoot at them through. It's probably live after death. That makes the most sense grammatically. Yes, you could. They would be an 18. I'm going to go ahead and try that because I want my leadership down here either way. So he's a 10 for three as well. That will be a miss. Um, then we've got Mr aptly named Hun Boy because uh, Genghis Khan was a leader of the Huns. Oh, right, yes. Yeah, yeah. Bet you didn't know you were going to get a mm -hmm. history. No, I'm following. Yeah. I'm following. Not many people know that about Genghis Khan. That's crazy that he led the Huns. It's yeah. kind of what he's known for, question mark. Is it? Okay. Uh, last I checked. <laughs> um. And being the greatest sperm donor in history, uh, yeah, to put it the nicest was way possible, yeah, pretty, <laughs> pretty uh, good at that. That was bad. Guess, Sorry, continue, continue with your turn. <laughs> All right, let's move. Uh, non copyright infringing uh, soldier boy, shield boy, shield boy. Yep, well, I can't even say soldier boy or Randy Orton will be mad at him. He'll move up to here, and then nobody clears on my team this turn. That's my yeah. My this is going to be a fun turn for me. This is going to be a good. This is going to be a good time. Um, Possibly a good two turns. Yeah, it, yeah, a good. Well, yeah, probably a good two turns actually. Quite literally. Um, I just, I just realized the problem with me wanting to be able to push and not being able to push anymore. And I want to push some of these guys. 
Um, but then here we are. So we're going to charge one, two, three, four to here with live after death punching on non copyright infringing shield boy. All shape right. change. He can use shape change and he has energy shield deflection. So shape change will help me possibly. Ah, that means I have a 17. With All nothing. right. And uh, do I have a 10 attack? I do have a 10 attack. So that'll hit for three damage. Three damage. Taking me to click four. On click four, I now have w -w willpower. I don't know why I said like that. It's just it's kind of exciting when you hit willpower on your dial now with these old figures. Mm -hmm. Um Everything is else true. is basically the same. I lost my shape change. I now have close combat expert with... Uh, that's... Incapacitate. What a great combo. I'm going to running shot to here with Final Frontier shooting at, uh, at Battle Guy again. See if we can make some magic happen. Ooh, that'll hit 17s. So I've got a nine attack now. And hindering. Uh, let's see. That probably only does two damage. It'll do three damage, and then I will be able to heal uh, three damage oh. if you take all three of it. That is okay. So you'll heal. Going back to going back to click one with Final Frontier. I mean, I technically only take three damage because yes. I die after the third damage is dealt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now let's see. Seven speed, six range. One, two, six to there. One, two, three. One, two, three. Nope, got to go here. One, two, three. All right, moving there with Phantom of the Opera. And then last but not least, the troopers can running shot. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Shooting at Mother Russia. Uh, it's going to be an 11 to her 17, so 18 in hindering terrain. Uh, it's just going to be three damage. I'm not going to energy explosion because uh, it wouldn't deal her any damage. So let's see what happens. I'll hit an 18. So she will take one. I don't think I have anything on the dial that nice. helps with that. So, yes, one damage. Going to click two. Uh, and that is all. That is all for my turn. All right. Sadly, did not position Mother Russia close to Colonel Stars and Stripes. But we'll roll leadership a six. That means either Genghis Khan or good old Chris D'Amico, the mother, as he is titled um, on HC Realms, can do something. So the mother has six range with a 10 attack, two damage, psychic blast. And don't well, forget, it's, it's going to uh, be the same because the Hun has kay. nine attack, two damage with exploit. Huh. Interesting. <clears throat> I think I will take it off of Genghis Carnage. So Chris D'Amico is going to outwit Phantom of the Opera's pulse wave power. His attack you, power thing. Mm, yeah. Don't know why I didn't think that was wasn't not gonna happen. <laughs> uh rats. Rats. And, uh, <laughs> Shoot. I will charge. The person's got stealth too. I could have put him in stealth. Whatever. Whatever. I'll charge to here with uh, my Hun boy. Boy of the You Huns. will try. I have 17 combat reflexes. Ah, I only need a 10. Ah, that's very close. That's an 18. Oh my gosh. Wow. You should have shot me, but here we are. Well, he doesn't have range. No, he had. I know uh, he doesn't. Okay, it's fine. I'll clear. That would have hit if you would have shot, even through Henry. Jim Carrey. Just saying. 
Oh no. Yeah. Okay. Clear Jim Carrey. That that pulse wave. Chris D'Amico. It's a little annoying. And Madre. It's Ruski. a little annoying. Yeah, it's a little annoying. I want a pulse wave. <laughs> I want to a be pulse fair, wave. That would have hit, uh, and it would have hit for three had uh, non copyright infringing Soldier Boy still been there. That is true. It would have. You're right. If you had your close combat expert, that'd be good. Uh, all right. We are gonna we're gonna charge a final frontier one, two. Oh, but I don't want to get in the pulse wave right now. Oh, the pulse wave is probably not happening, Calder. Okay, fine, Calder. We're gonna charge a final frontier to here. <laughs> uh, we're gonna we're gonna blades Mother Russia. We just we have to do it once, right? Um, that will hit, and you'll ignore the damage. If Unless it's, it is a five or a six. Yeah, if it's not a five or six. <laughs> Woo. Look at that. You ignored the blades. Man. Um, I actually see it now. Yeah. That would have dealt me two damage. Instead, it deals me zero. I'm very happy with this power. Although I still <laughs> I still think you're like it's just salt in the wound if your opponent gets a five or six, because not only is it just right. KOing the figure, it's also like the one part the trait doesn't protect from. Uh, we're going to have the trooper running shot energy explosion on Majre Ruski now. See if we can do, see if we can do, some, do some damage. Uh, that'll hit 17s. She's an 18 in hindering, and Rista Miko okay. is also an 18 in hindering. I don't know if he gets the hindering. Yeah, I think we're going to just take, take that loss. Um, no, nah, I'm gonna take that loss because I don't want to. Okay. I'd assume he does. I'm assuming. I assume he would. Uh, Phantom of the Opera being robbed of the only thing they can do. Very sad. Uh, is going to <sighs> probably just gonna rest her. So we're gonna have live or him. It's a little Phantom of the freaking Opera. Uh, we're gonna have live after death. Try to punch the Hun boy. Ooh, that will that will hit 18s yeah, he's for got sure. A 17 toughness. Yeah. How much damage you deal in me? For three damage. All three right. normal damage. I'll go to this is where I three. would have chosen to push so I could be on my uh poison, but no, here we are. I can't do that anymore. And we clear uh the Phantom of the Opera. All right. Sadly. Sadly. Hunboy being the only one that's double tokened gives me some options. Uh, sadly, I cannot roll. Well, I can roll for leadership. It just won't do anything this turn. Um, I could running shot with good old Jim Carrey, but he also he has Eisenhower attached currently, so he can use the duo attack. So I'm just going to do that targeting final frontier here. Yes. Okay. So a ranged attack. It'll be a 10 for 3. It'll be an 18 because of hindering. All right. First attack. No, not even close. Uh, second attack. Hey. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to use our second theme prob with Final Frontier so but that doesn't Calder, crit hit me. He is double tokened. How yes. could you do that? Ah, because of the rules change, Simeon, I no longer have to give my character an action token to use wow. a theme prob. That's but in exchange for that, fun. I only get to use three. Yeah, it does sound fun. Are you oh, having fun, Simeon? So instead of four, you only have three, but you get to do that. Instead of five, I only have three. Yes. Uh, Correct. Does a does a seventeen hit? It'll miss by one because the uh, I am not having fun. I changed my mind. I hate that rule. Dad. I changed my mind. Um I think Chris D'Amico is gonna outwit that pulse wave again, and he'll try and psychic blast the phantom. So he's a ten for two. It's gonna not it's a, gonna hurt. Not a super um, stellar dude. Um Well, your 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 uh your your stuff is gonna go through hindering there, Simeon, and the Phantom does have stealth, actually, oh. so I don't think you could have outwitted me. 
now that I check the rules, actually, ah, yeah, you're gonna have to move he's gonna to move outwits to there instead of shooting. And outwit pulls away. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there um, you go. Yep. What is? Oh, uh, let's see. That guy's got invulnerability again. Mother Russia can use duo attack, but only for range. So I don't have the sharpshooter ability or anything that would help me with that. Um, so I'm just going to make a standard close attack against uh, the final frontier here. A 10 for 3. Ah, a 4. Good, good. Ah, good, it's nice good, to know the good. Russians are incompetent and not a threat. That's not a political statement. It's just a game fact. Uh, that's my turn. I will clear Hunboy, who is equally bad. So Hun's <coughs> Russians, both not good at attacking, is not a political statement, just the game state. Really, really making it a little, a little too edgy there, Simeon. <laughs> Phantom of the Opera having no choice uh, but to punch Chris D'Amico because we really want a pulse wave. Uh, it'll be a 10 attack for three damage, and it'll miss by uh, quite a lot. And then we're just going to clear everybody else because we don't want to. We don't want to prob that. We're going to leave it be. It's your turn. All right. I once again. Uh, Jim Carrey is not positioned well to use leadership, so I should probably fix that. I think instead of doing my uh, duo attack, I will just running shot to here. And I will okay. target final frontier. All right. That'll hit an eight. Ooh, that will that will hit final frontier. We're gonna let that we're gonna let that happen. Uh, is that for three? For three, yes. So final is gonna go down to click two. Then Mother Russia will do a follow up attack. Actually, uh, what click is my my Hun boy on? He's on click three. And on click three, he's got a solid. Uh, I think he's got blades. No. Hang on, I have to prove I'm not a robot. Uh, he has flurry with exploit. Does flurry exploit combo with the new rules? I feel uh. like it doesn't, but we are very open to interpretation. Let me check right now. Based on that spreadsheet, that may or may not actually be legitimate. It's probably not, but you know what? We're going to go with it anyways. Where is it? Where the frick is it? Oh, my gosh. Where the frick? There it is. Okay. Uh... Uh, it can combo. You can flurry exploit via new rules for what I understand. And if uh, I'm wrong, I'm sure someone will say so in the comment section. Well, we will attempt to do this uh, looking forward in time. It may not be correct, but he's a nine for two. He's going to go after uh, the final frontier as well. So first attack. Let's get a call. Let's get a call. 16. Probably miss. <sighs> Final Frontier is a 17 right now. All right, so I need an 8 or better with my second attack. That's another 7, which is an average roll, so I can't be mad mm. about that, but that is another miss. Um, Mother Russia will now, after those failed attacks, attempt to punch Final Frontier. Also going to miss. And Chris D'Amico mm. will outwit the pulse wave once again. Just really don't want that action tokening, my guys. And I think 
He's a 10 for 2. Does uh, good old Phantom there have any reducers? Uh, I believe the Phantom of the Opera has a 17 toughness right now. All right, so I can do at least one. I'll attempt that. Does a 16 hit? 16 will miss by one, Simeon. Oh, it's actually a 15. No, he's still on click. Is Chris D'Amico on one? He should be on click one. Yeah. I didn't hit him. Yeah, so 16. That is my whole turn. I can't do anything else. Uh, I better give this guy an action token, though. All right. All right, we're going to have live after death. Go after the Hun. Let's see. Let's see how to roll here. It's going to be a 10 to a something. Uh, 16 with combat reflexes. So that will miss. That will miss. Oh, we're going to let it miss. Uh, now we're going to have Final Frontier do the same swing. Same swing on the Hun. He's an 11, however. Huh, that will also miss. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, the trooper will now energy explosion uh, Mother Asha. He's an 11. Oh, hits 16s. Um, uh, which I assume misses everyone. Yeah. Mother Russia's a 17. Yeah. Colonel Stars All right. Uh, last, last attack of the whole thing. Uh, Phantom of the Opera going against Chris D'Amico. I believe 10 on a 17. Wow. <laughs> These are certainly some dice rolls. Uh, that's. You were so that hot is last my time played, turn, and now we're really. I know. Away. Wow! Look at this. Uh, a bit of a Roll stalemate. Twenty, it all evens out eventually. Uh, let's attempt leadership with Colonel Stars and Stripes. A two, Jim Carrey. What are you doing with your life? Mm. Uh, Hun Boy has no other choice but to do something, so he will. I think he's gonna flurry the final frontier with his exploit. Uh, that seems like the only good option I really have. So uh, he's a nine attack. He's going to need an eight. First attack misses. Second attack. Also, a oh, good miss. Um, oh, that'll okay. be my whole turn other than outwitting you your both have bad rolls. We both have out rolled. Oh, gosh. I can't even pulse wave this next turn. <laughs> so mean. I could drop. Uh, all right. Power. I just don't want to lose him. Right. Mm. Maybe one. All of right. Days. Let's have uh once again, uh let's make the final frontier take the first swing on the Hun boy. Well, I want Live After Death to do it just in case, because then Final Frontier can at least do something else. Yeah, we'll have to li li live after death's gonna take a swing on the on the Hun. It's a ten for a crit miss. Uh take him to click two, which I'm actually okay with that because then I can poison the Hun. Ooh. Now that I'm on poison. And then we will have uh, the final frontier go ahead and swing on the Hun as well. 11 and attack. Hits a 19. That'll hit. He has super senses now, so on a 5 or okay, 6. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, all right. Okay. Okay. Okay, all right, okay. Uh, let's have the trooper energy explosion Mother Russia again. Okay. 16s again. Wow, yikes. Uh, let me clear. Phantom of the Opera. Wow. Wow. What a turn. <laughs> what a turn of events. Just what it is. But what a turn. Uh, wow. Let's, let's uh, duo attack with good old Jim Carrey here. He's okay. going to take some shots at Final Frontier. So he's still a okay. 10 for 3. Uh, first attack. And Final Frontier will be an 18 in hindering. All right. Need an eight. That's doubles. It's a six. It's not good enough. Second attack. Also a six. Uh, mm. He's then going to pop out Dog, who can be given a move action for free, but it's just going to sit there instead. Um, it's going to sit there. Okay. I think Mother Russia on click two. She doesn't have any move and attack, so 
probably not going to get away to do any duo attack stuff. She will attempt to punch Final Frontier as well. Okay. A 17. 17 will hit for 3 damage, I assume? Yes. 3 plane damage. Yeah. Put him on click 3. And then I will have to... Uh, let's see. The Phantom only had that pulse wave on click one, right? So um, only on click one. Still on click one. I don't think you've hit the Phantom yet. Oh, have I not? Okay. I think you have. Uh, we will. We'll attempt to punch for. Uh, okay. I was gonna say try and outwit the defense and punch, but. Uh, I'm a ten for two, and I haven't been rolling hot, so I'm gonna do the safe thing. Hey. And just out with Pulse Wave again, and then swing. Ah, uh, should have got that toughness out of there. That will hit me a click two. Answer the opera. Okay. Then my, my Hun Boy will have to clear. That is all I can do this turn. Okay, we're in the Phantom of the Opera. Outwit Chris D'Amico's outwit using their new special a face that can shatter minds. Uh, can use that wit only to target opposing characters in five squares. Uh, Character that has a power countered by this outwit can't be given a non free action if it has one action token. But can he see so, through stealth? Uh, shoot, frick, he cannot. Uh, all right, well, we'll save. We'll save that. Ugh, Phantom the Opera is just in terrible spots all the time. Phantom the Opera is going to punch Chris D'Amico, however. See if we can maybe uh, move his dial around a little bit. No, why would we? And let's clear the trooper. Let's poison with li live after death. Okay. And then let's clear everybody else. Hunboy will go to click five. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Click five. I no longer have my excellent exploit power, but now I have flurry blades. So uh, we'll start with. I think, uh, oh, leadership would be the the most apt thing to start with at the beginning of every turn. So, uh, Jim Carrey, will leadership, mm. Maybe and willpower. Don't, think willpower. I don't know if anyone has willpower. But... Uh, not yet. Call him Colonel Stars and Stripes. All right, that man deserves respect. Yeah. I freaking loved that character, and I had no idea it was Jim Carrey the entire time. I had zero clue it was Jim Carrey. Oh, it was. Didn't act like Jim Carrey. It was. It was amazing. Um, no, nah, dude, he didn't look anything like Jim Carrey in that role, though. He looked completely different as wild. Let's see here. It's It sadly was. And I think this, honestly, I think this character shows his true range. Because he didn't act like oh, just kind of like got his other characters. Days. He's crazy good. Uh, I know he does. But like, it always just seems like he's a crazy guy, like Ace Ventura. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, the it's Grinch, the funny, crazy uh, guy. Dumb and Dumber. Like, it's always, it's always crazy, accentuated stuff. And then this dude is a very solemn hero type guy. And you're like, I just didn't know Jim Carrey could play that. You know, it's really cool. Yeah, I can't remember. He's got a few movies where he's got roles similar to that. Um, not similar to like a superhero kind of like whatever but like where he's very like somber and not funny at all uh or not it's right. not a comedy right. we're gonna start with dog attempting to blades final frontier dog. dog bite that is the command well a 17 that's schwanz is actually the command ah a final frontier a 17 will hits i do have invulnerability however oh. so you're gonna have to roll pretty good well a pretty six will suffice roll. Oh, uh, three. Okay. Got greedy. Three. Three will take me a click four, though. Um, Hun Boy is sitting at an eight attack. Got only a 16 with toughness right now. Uh, is live after death, or live after death, is he still got combat reflexes? Live after death is a 16 with willpower right now. Okay. And I have been forgetting to roll for willpower. Frick. Let's uh, see. I knew someone was forgetting to do it, and that's something with me. <laughs> let's attempt to flirt. Well, we're going to flurry blades either way, uh, but let's attempt to attack Yeah. Uh, live after death first. Live after death. 
that'll be a 13. I assume yeah. that misses. So I'll need an that gotta get eight. I need a eight. Eight. Uh, so yeah, we'll we'll tempt him again. Ah, that will hit. Oh, that will do it. For how much? Rolling blades. Yes, for five damage. Well, oh, five. Wow, it takes me a quick seven. Hundred. I'll live after death. Being a little surprised. Oh wow, oh, that's a little scary. Okay. Um. Let's see. That's two actions. I'm actually not uh yeah i am able to do all five actions with leadership so uh we'll have jim carrey who uh, i'm sorry colonel stars and stripes i will i will give him some respect thank you put some uh, respect on his name he's going to he can no longer do the duo attack ability so instead he will just running shot to here oh, to right there mm and target Phantom of the Opera. He is a 10 for 3. Just so you know, Phantom of the Opera, after they lose toughness, they go on to ESD. So they are a 19 from range right now. Where what Live After saying? Death, uh, not Live After Death, sorry. Um, the Final Frontier is only a 17 from range right now. Oh, actually. With I... hindering bonus. Uh, there's no way to get there with range. Trying to shoot the trooper? You trying to how shoot much, the trooper? How much range you know you do can't I shoot have? the trooper. Five? Uh, I'm just one short. You have five range, Simeon. I'm just one short. Uh, unless you I, always will be. Yeah, because I'd stop there, stop there, adjacent to characters. Um, man, a perplex would be real good right now. Yeah, we'll just go here, targeting Phantom of the Opera. Uh, Colonel Stars and Stripes does not care about your ESD because gonna... he's going to roll a two. How do I not? Uh, you rolled. You <laughs> Why are you not rolling the right dice? It hurts. <laughs> slash 2d6, uh, not 2d6. Slash, goodness gracious. A that will miss. Okay. <laughs> that will uh, miss. It's very depressing. I could have outwitted that ESD. That probably would have been a good idea. Uh, Chris D'Amico could have. will just attempt to punch Phantom of the Opera. Uh, he's got, yeah. He's okay. supposed to attempt to punch. That'll hit a 19, which is what I thought will hit Colonel Stars and Stripes was going to do. Speaking of the Phantom, to click four. And Mother Russia, who does not have human attack, does not have duo attack because she's still based. Uh, she will attempt to punch the final frontier. She's a uh, ten for three. Okay, sixteen defense. Ooh, uh, that will hit the final frontier. Sixteen toughness for three takes him down to click six. And Phantom on click four. What is he doing right now? Uh, Phantom may or may not have running shot, uh, and then a certain special attack power. It's a voice that can shatter glass, and then the outwit power as well. Ah, I will get rid of the voice that can shatter glass kind of power. Damn sounds, it! Sounds kind of pulse wavy. I'd appreciate if I didn't have to get pulse waved. That'll be my turn. Uh, that's all five actions. That's oh. my leadership. So mad. <laughs> All right, uh, live after that's going to poison the Hun. Well, first, well, no, we don't have to roll for willpower. Yeah, we're going to poison the Hun. Ah, that will kill the Hun. Nice. He got a good uh, shot. Final in. Frontier, be on click. He did. No, he did. Yeah. He did. He did okay. Click six. Not great for the Final Frontier. Not great. What is, what's the dog rocking for defense right now? Good old Eisenhower. Is a sixteen with super senses. Okay, let's have the let's have the final frontier go ahead try to punch old Eisenhower. I'm okay with that. I'm not okay with that. Not okay with it. Okay, we're gonna have the trooper running shot to here, shooting Mother Russia energy explosion. <laughs> that 
trooper is just we are going to, we are going to prob that we will use my last theme prob uh with the final frontier because i want this to hit i want this to hit uh hits 17s all right uh mother russia is a 18 in hindering currently uh chris d'amico is a 17 printed so 18 in hindering Mm. Mm. Uh, we're going to outwit Jin Carey's uh, special damage power respect the mask with Phantom of the Opera Live after that's going to charge to here punch the dog punch the dog you would dare that will on click 7 Oh, excuse me, Live After Death does not have whatever on click seven. They're just going to move to there then. Ignore all of that. They'll just move. I want to clear Phantom of the Opera and Zuryo. So this is one of the reasons I... So no leadership uh, Calder got rid of that. Uh, this is one reason I really like the new no pushing damage is because the dog can now uh, take an action without mm. just yeah. dying. Uh, he's going to go ahead and Blades. I think he's going to go after Final Frontier. That seems like the person that's causing me the most strife here. Okay. Ooh, I hope a 21 hits. Uh, that will hit, uh, absolutely. All right, let's see what my... But for how much? My Blades Quite... roll. I do have four. Toughness. Ah. So it's got to be... Four so three, so click nine, which is dead, which is dead on the final frontier. Click nine, dead. Well, I think we cool. can safely say nine. his bite was worse than his bark. <laughs> uh, I'm going to clear everyone else because I don't have willpower, sadly. Um, we will outwit the, the pulse wave ability on the phantom once again. That's just going to be a recurring man. theme as long as I can uh, manage it. Yeah, live after death is going it is gonna poison the dog though it's gonna poison the dog i just want you to know you're a monster and uh that's not okay fair. uh let me look back. live after death uh, actually is a mystical keyword sorry um next we're gonna regen with live after death uh roll single d6 heal half so ooh, sweet three so we'll go back to click four it's pretty good pretty good all right, the trooper, energy explosion, Mother Russia, hits 18s. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I've been waiting for. All right, Mother Russia will take one. Chris D'Amico has super senses. Oh, please don't. Please, please. <laughs> oh, no. Ah! <laughs> Mother Russia will go to click three. Sadly... Oh, I the first point oh. in this game where she would have been able to duo attack and she's knocked off of that power. So I can no longer do the thing that I was never able to do because of positioning. Phantom of the Opera is punching Chris D'Amico. Hits. Hits. Super senses. I don't oh, know. Come on. Know what's going on? Ah! All right. That's fine. That's okay. Uh that's fine. Definitely Outwit over fifty percent for my super senses this game. That's like the third one I've made. I didn't, I didn't care. Oh, damn it. And it is your turn. Here's your go. All right. What is Phantom rocking for defense? Does he still have that energy shield? Uh, that was the ESD, yeah. Let's let's see what Colonel Stars and Stripes has got right now. Um, he's got yeah, running shots, yeah. Mother Russia is not moving anywhere anytime soon. She does have six range. Um, yeah, I think we're just going to take our two shots at Phantom. So 
We'll have Chris D'Amico out with the energy shield. Jim Carrey will attempt to shoot. So he's a 10 for 3 still. A 17. Ooh, that will hit. Uh, for three damage on Phantom of the Opera, that will kill Phantom of the Opera. I just wanted, I just wanted to pulse wave. I just wanted to pulse wave. Eat Gosh. me, heal. <laughs> That's from a TV show. Uh, I want. Oh, I want. <laughs> Let's see. I don't think Chris D'Amico has line of fire. Now that's going to clip Mother Russia. He does have line of fire to live after death. Uh. So he'll take a shot at them. Mm. A 10 through hindering for two with Psychic oh, Blast. Four, 17 defense. Ooh. Oh, that will hit. For how much? For two? For two. Go click six. And they'll deal knockback, but you're already at mm. the edge, and there's no knockback damage. So right. that'll deal nothing right. and do nothing. Which is fun. Uh, Mother Russia will mm -hmm. just shoot. Let's see. What's what do I have for defenses on these two, on the trooper and live after death? Live after death is going to be toughness with like uh, fifteen, and then the trooper is going to be an eighteen invulnerability. Ah. Uh. Yeah, let's go after the, the bottom guy, live after death. Um, yeah. She still has a 10, almost her whole dial. She's kind of solid. Uh, that'll be an 18. Mm. For three. Yes, that will hit. Uh, it would seem. Uh, so now I will remove all action tokens and then turn them to click six. Uh, the first time they would be KO'd uh, as per their traits. So they have been KO'd once. A little skull crossbones there. So we know. And now we know. <laughs> All right. That is my whole turn. All right. I think we just sort of... I'm going to get three pot shots taken at me again, but I think... I think we have to regen because moving up there poisoning doesn't doesn't do anything until next turn. So we're gonna regen with live after death. Hopefully another six or a five, or two, I guess, is whatever. Go to click five with live after death, and we have to clear the trooper. Sadly. That's uh, that's where we're at. Let's leadership with good old colonels, stars, and stripes, and or stripes. Oh. Nothing. Uh, mm. We will running shot. Mm. A 10 for 3. Try and get rid okay. of this resurrecting zombie boy. Uh, my uh, 16. <sighs> that will hit. Uh, but only for 2 damage, which will take me to click 7. So still in the game. Still in the game. All right. Um... Let's see. We've got a 10 on both of these people. Let's have Mother Russia take a shot first. Okay. She's a 10. Live after three. death, right? Yes. Yeah, you need to roll a five, whole five or higher. Ah. Uh, yeah, that is, that will be live after death. He's gone. He's dead. All, all they wrote for live to death. It is up to the trooper. I will then. Move he is the only one in the game. Uh, Chris full power, play. however. Yes, yes. I have completely ignored him because he's been up to this point quite yeah. ineffective. Uh, he... <laughs> Don't say that about him. So mean. <laughs> I'm gonna outwit his energy Time explosion with Chris D'Amico. Oh, you're frick. You're a freaking a hole, Simeon. I realized I probably should have done that power action just like while he was not doing anything useful. I should have just power actioned everybody back to a starting area. 
just for funsies, just to screw up your uh oh yeah, yeah, your placement. But anyways, oh holy frick, the trooper running shot one, two, three, four. Sure. Uh shooting Mother Russia. Does he have double target? No, of course he doesn't. All right, cool. All right. Uh yeah. shooting Mother Russia. Eleven. That will hit. I'll hit twenty twos. Oh yeah. Three She's holding at nineteen right now, but that'll definitely hit. For three, for three. So she's got toughness. So pretty... that'll deal two damage to go to click Good. five. Ah, uh, that that's all. That's literally, that's what I can do. I got I, one. I don't have any willpower. One guy. So I'm gonna do some clearing. Nice. I'm gonna do some nice. outwitting your. Energy explosion again. Yeah, I hope you would have forgot about that. Not gonna lie. <laughs> that's, all, that's all I can do this turn. All right. Uh, what's Mother Russia rocking right now? Uh, 17 with super senses, charge with close combat expert. Okay. Yeah, let's running shot to here. We'll try to target. Colonel Stars and Stripes first. You would dare. See if we can. Shape change. I would dare. Coming down the pipe. Ah, that's a three. Okay. All right. We need a six to hit him. That will hit for three damage. All right. That'll send him to click three because of toughness. And that is, that is it. That is my turn. Right now, it is my Stars turn. and Stripes has charge as well as Mother Russia. Uh, what does the trooper have for defense? Yeah. Is he still invuln? He's still top dial. I, I am at 18 in vulnerability, yeah. Still top dial, still feeling pretty comfortable there. All right, we're gonna move. I never I never said his name. Uh, emo rage is what he's titled. Uh, Chris D'Amico is gonna move. Oh, to that's here right, yeah, and outwit. The troopers' defense. Uh, Jim Carrey. I hate you. All right. Charge. Cool. To here, he does have quick. We got to hit eighteen. But it won't really matter because either way, he's a ten or two. So, um, yeah. Of course, uh, of course, that will take me to click three. Because why wouldn't it? Uh, on on click three, I do have toughness now instead. Okay. Uh, which is neat. I guess I couldn't have done that whole uh, go to your starting area thing anyways because I don't. I need to be on click three, four, and five for that. So oh, I guess whatever. Yeah, you can't just do it from yeah, like yeah. the get go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah um, can't do it top dial. Mother Russia is going to charge. She has close combat expert, so she's an eleven for three right now. Pretty solid. That'll hit 19s. That will take me to click 5. Reduce it by 1. And that okay. is my whole turn. What's your turn, Calder? Uh, my whole turn is going to be clearing. Thank you, Simeon. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, Thanks. I'm going to roll leadership with Colonel Stars and Stripes. He's going to take that off of Mother Russia. Doesn't really matter too much. Uh, what what defenses good old trooper guy have right now? Oh, you know, when he's, when he's on click five, he's rocking a 15 defense. That's where he's vibing at most days. Oh, okay. In fact, it's a 15 defense from here to the end of his miserable uh, British life so we'll we'll attempt the the coup de gras with colonel stars and stripes with a 10 for two can't be mad about that oh okay mm. well well looks like i'm dressing up like a russian lady so <laughs> Yikes. Madre you know what sucks too Madre is that like Russia. I cosplayed Colonel Stars and Stripes. I made his cool bat axe stick thing. 
Yeah, I'm you get kick ass instead. and I get iron. <laughs> I'm just gonna use your so mad and like put my face on it. Oh geez, uh, that's fair. Um, my gosh, Mother Russia will once again close combat expert. Um, it's just oh, always applied. Hard work. So I only need a four for three damage. That is a four. That'll hit a fifteen. Roll. Oh, he did roll four. Um, for three, so two. It takes me to click seven. And on click seven, I am still in it to win it, baby. What do you have on click seven defensively? I've got a whole 15 toughness with regen. Dead Eddie. All right, let's go one, two, three, four (sighs) with Chris D'Amico. Finally coming out of stealth. He's going to outwit your regen. No. No! All right. (sighs) That hurts. That hurts. The trooper is going to charge breakaway because I'll be darned if I don't try to swing against Chris D'Amico. Frick! Whatever. It's your turn, Simeon. It's your turn. I'll get one more shot at it, I guess, actually. I shouldn't. should calm down. I should calm down a little bit. It's okay. Let's see. Colonel Stars and Stripes fine. still has okay. leadership, so I'll attempt that. Ooh, I think Mother, no! Mother Russia is going to remove an action token and then add one to punch 11 for 3. Oh, that actually probably misses. That's a. Uh, yeah, it does, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I've been waiting for. So it looks like Jim Carrey will clear. Nice. Chris the Miko nice, nice, will clear. Nice. And I will nice. outwit your regen again. Okay, okay. Once again, charge, breakaway. All right. I we can't we cannot survive. It is your turn. It is your turn. All right. Let's let's take the shot with Chris D'Amico. Sadly. No, don't you don't even do that with Chris, really? Come on. Come on. You didn't do it like that. Good! Good! Little piece of crap, little piece of garbage. Uh, looks like Colonel Stars and Stripes. finally off of, uh, no, crap, he's still, uh, crap. Well, whatever. He still crit misses like a stupid idiot. First attack roll you ever make. Well, not really, but whatever. <laughs> stupid little idiot. Yeah. Stupid, stupid. First one out of hiding. Yeah. Uh, he's yeah. gotta pay people to win his battles. It's in his power. Uh, Jim Carrey coming in hot with a swing. Does a 16 yeah, hit that. for two. Uh, yeah, yeah. It hits for two. That'll be the trooper. I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. Colonel right. Stars and Stripes the best character in that movie, so I'll take it. That's fine. <laughs> Another epic Golden Age brawl has come to a close. Reminder, you can vote for the figures we use on our teams on Facebook, Twitter, and Discord in the comment section of this video. Next week, I'm going to build from the two towers, and Simeon is going to build from Star Trek Tactics 3. So we didn't get any votes this last time, so we just sort of built teams we thought would be fun. Um, so yeah, if you guys are fine with this, that's what we're just going to keep doing if we don't get votes. So we gotta, we gotta do a video just because you guys don't vote doesn't mean the rest of the world don't spin. Sorry for guilt tripping you like that, <laughs> fellas. To be fair, uh, but anyways, Dota 2 will yeah. have only five figures to vote for. So that is true. It should uh, be super although easy Dota for you guys to get votes in. Dota 2 will be the one after this. We're still doing, I'm going to do two towers. You'll do Trek. Right. And then we're doing... Uh, I do two towers. I'll get Dota 2, and you will get Lone Ranger. Thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. Also, All right. Right. technically six figures, but yes. A week from They're now. True. Technically, there are six figures in that law. Yeah, so keep that in mind. But no, we are voting for uh, <laughs> the two towers for me. Uh, Star Trek Tactics 3 for Simeon. If you want to support the channel, you can do so at patreon.com. Link in the description below. If you want to find the other places where you can vote, the Discord is Patreon exclusive. As little as $1, you can be there. We have all sorts of fun discussion. Uh, Subscribe, like, comment, vote for figures. Thank you guys so much. And like always, happy trails.